Okay, so today we're going to talk about epigenetics. When talking about epigenetics, we either refer to DNA or histones. Okay, so firstly, when we talk about DNA, when we're talking about DNA, always remember that methylation happens. An increased methylation will switch a gene off. Methylation is the addition of a methyl group known as CH3. It always attaches to a CPG site, which is when cytosine and guanine are next to each other in the DNA molecule linked by a phosphodiester bond. And usually this results in gene expression to being turned off. This is because the DNA molecule is becoming more condensed, so therefore less transcription factors are enabled to enter the DNA molecule. Now let's talk about histones. When we talk about histones, we talk about acetylation. You can either have acetylation or deacetylation. Firstly, acetylation. Acetylation is simply the addition of a acetyl group, which is COCH3. This enables the DNA molecule to be condensed less, so therefore being more spread out, resulting in more transcription factors, such as enzymes, to um, replicate the DNA and therefore enable transcription to occur. On the other hand, we have deacetylation. This is the removal of a acetyl group, it usually results as the DNA becoming more condensed, which therefore decreases gene expression as the DNA molecule is more condensed and tightly packed, so therefore transcription factors cannot attack the DNA molecule. Another thing to remember is that histone deacetylase, known as HDAC, enzymes are responsible for removing the acetyl group.